This week we're back playing a ranked Ivy League school, Yale. They had a very solid team and were ranked 55 in the country, so we knew it was going to be a battle. We're back on our home courts in Malibu for this match, so we had a slight advantage as they were coming from playing indoors a lot. As usual, we started off with doubles, and I was on court 3 with my usual partner, Edward Winter. 377 ATP in doubles. Our opponents were quite unusual players, as none of them really tried getting forward, but were just rallying from the back the whole time. After a pair of holds by both, we tried putting some pressure in their second service game to get a look. We make it to deuce point, and after a good return cross court, I close the middle and put this volley away to give us a break. At 3-1, we get 4 break points, and a half shank return by me puts them off balance, making them miss in the net. 4-1. It's another clean hold to extend our lead, as the forehand goes just deep. We get our first match wins the next game on a deuce point, and I have this approach ball where we both sprint to the net. Eventually, they somehow end up on top. It was not a big deal though, as the next game I put away an easy volley to end the match. A win contributed to the team's double point, so we are now up 1-0. In singles, I was back on court 2, and my opponent was Theodore Dean. Very solid player from Northern California. He didn't play any futures or ITF tournaments, but he had an impressive UTR rating of 13.5. So it was not gonna be easy at all. My first service game gets tied, but a big ace down the tee will put me in front. I lose the next point, however, so it's now deuce point. He was a very solid player, I could tell. Didn't miss much at all, covered the core well, but also was able to pull the trigger and make me run if I played short. And his backhand was just as good as his forehand, which made it harder to find a weakness. As you can see here, a very long rally with lots of tough balls, but eventually I am the one to give in, and as I just missed this inside out. So I'm down a break and it's not really looking good. He's comfortable playing long rallies and I'm not really a fan of them, so I'm quite out of my comfort zone trying to find a weakness and a strategy that favors me. Just as in the previous game, I'm the one to miss first. To add on everything, he was also a good volleyer and put some good pressure on me at the net. 3 love down and I'm really struggling to find my way to hurt him, as he is obviously gaining confidence and is hitting shots like these. I get broken again, and as the set goes on, I slowly get more passive and that does not help the scoreline at all. I wasn't playing too bad, I would say. It's just that he didn't miss a ball for the entire set. And I couldn't quite find good angles or enough pace to really break him down. So I was missing more because I was risking more. Here he finally misses one ball. I could win my first game on a deuce point, but my return is poor and won't be enough to make it. I get another chance to win the first game at 5 love down, but I'm straight away behind in the rally. And despite being able to make this counter drop shot over the net, he burns me line. At deuce I get another chance, and despite the tough scoreline I knew that winning this game would help him remove a mental block from this match. This backhand line surprises him, and with this inside out, I finally get on the scoreboard. From this point on, it was really all just about problem solving. I saw a few times that if I got him on the stretch, he would miss or struggle to pass me, so I had to find ways to go forward and put pressure on him that way. I find a great inside in here, which really sets me up well and allows me to get the short ball soon after. At 15 all, I go aggressive with this foreign return to push him out and I hit a great inside out to follow it and set up nicely for this overhead. And missed. That point could have given me some momentum, but instead I'm down 40-15. I get this first point though. 
And the second point, I surprise him again with back and line. So it's now deuce and break points. As he's done a few times on big points, he serves on volleys and puts it away to win the set 6-1. So yeah, the first set I got absolutely whooped. And the goal was for that to not happen again in the second. But he kept good depth and I had to find great shots like this inside in to find an opening in the point and have a chance to do something. At 30 all, I get a look and I really thought my back end passing shot clipped the line, but I guess it didn't, which yeah, sucks. He ends up holding and we're now 1-0. A bit passive at this point as that's just not the way to go for me, I already knew it. And there's a big shift. At low 30, I double fault, makes things better. And yeah, I don't know, I wasn't hitting the ball bad, but I just was not aggressive enough and instead of making him run, I was running too often, which definitely is not when I play my best. Here he flips the point nicely with this down the line and then puts the next ball away. Down a break, I don't get discouraged though, as the next game I get a look with this pass control. My game plan wasn't quite executing yet, but I, I was scrapping as much as I could. And at 15.30 here, I play short and then get a bit lucky with this passion short, giving me three break points. I was expecting a serve and volley, so I try to return low at this back end. And the next ball, I do just enough to get the break. Despite everything, I feel like I was growing in my fighting spirit and knew that I could stay neck and neck even without my best shots today. I just did not want to miss anymore and stay deep as a minimum, then transition into being aggressive. I thought I hit a good passing shot, but I, yeah, I guess that wasn't good enough. We hold the next three games, and this is finally the point where I think I'm slightly ahead, or at least trying to do so with my forehand. I also didn't want to rush because I knew I couldn't afford free errors. After this deep backhand, I pull the trigger of the inside out to make it deuce. Big sir T from him, however, and I completely missed the backhand. The next game is a disaster. Two misses, one tough point, and then finally it's falling in the bottom of the net. Just a complete blackout. All that hard work gone to sh**. I only had this game to fix this. Sometimes playing a good point didn't mean you would win it. At 15.30 I get stuck in this back and slice loop until eventually I go line to use it as a weapon and set up my approach. This time I close the volley, so it's 30 all. After a sure return, he wastes no time to come to the net. And I could not believe the half volley winner he hit. Match point. Deuce point, and we're starting on a second serve. And typically he's gone forwards a lot on these middle not so long returns that I've been hitting. But here he stays back, so maybe he's a little bit tight or cautious. He's staying more middle here. I decide to follow this approach even though it's not that good and he misses. So I somehow escaped death and it's now match on once again. I'm 40-15 up and he's lost just a bit of momentum. I try to stay solid until eventually I hit this back and approach line to take my first significant lead. Now it's 15 all the next game. I know it would be huge to break him and take in the set. And he hits this back and line just missed, or so I thought, but my call gets overruled. As you can see, I'm immediately complaining about it, but this gets me nowhere. But I mean, look at the slow-mo. You can't tell me it's in. Anyway, he holds, so we make it to six all now. And there's a long tough point I'll let you watch to start a breaker. You can definitely tell he lost a bit of confidence because despite the fact he's not missing a lot, he's less aggressive and is letting me take the match more into my own hands. As you can see these last couple of shots, he tries to be cautious but eventually misses first. 
Fast forward and he's able to take that mini break back and it is now 3-2. He plays a signature great half volley and ends the point on the next shot. He wins the next point as well, so I'm 4-3 down. But I pull the trigger on his inside in and he can't do much. For all, I know I need to be aggressive again. So I waste no time opening the core of this floor and inside out. And then once again, go for the inside in one. Absolutely vital point. At 5-4, it's one of the most important points of the match. And I'm just gonna let you watch this. First set point for me. Rare missed by him in the net and it's one set all. So yeah, finding myself in the third set was kind of weird given how the match was going and how close I was to losing, literally one point away. But no time to think about that as now I have a break chance early in the third set on this two point. I really didn't expect the depth on his foreign line and end up missing. So unfortunately I lost that. I hold the next game and one all I have another break point, but I miss a return and give him another tight hold. The next game the script flips as I'm now down 15-40, but I save the first break point with an ace. At 30-40 I hit another good first serve, but he throws up one of these lob returns which I absolutely hate and pushing me back, so the rally is pretty much even. After sticking to my back end corner I miss a slice in the net. Not all hope is lost though, as the next game I have my chances to break back and he hits a nest trap on this approach and hands me the game. Unfortunately for you guys this was one of those unfinished matches as we got all the points we needed on our course to take the team win 4-0. So yeah, my, our match got abandoned and he was also frustrated as you can see. It was a bit of a letdown not finishing the match because it was a good battle and I wanted to see how it ended and it always feels like you worked so hard for nothing when this happens. But I was also very happy for the team getting back on the winning side, beating a great team such as Yale. And this would definitely be a high note in our season. There will be a lot more of my college matches coming up this season that I will post on our channel now that I have more time. So make sure to stay tuned and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss them.